hello everybody and welcome back. Sorry for the long wait between episodes, but I was noticing a lot of loss of frames. So I've been doing some monkeying around trying to figure out what the issue is because this computer can definitely handle dead space. So hopefully I figured it out. This game isn't exactly optimized the best for PC. So that's probably the issue. I don't have any problems streaming games, and that's far, far less intense. Now we have Kinesis. Use Kinesis to move or throw objects. Just shut up. Oop, I don't love you. You go over there. Remove this. Body bags! Plenty of snacks for the necromorphs. I'm very well aware. Please stop. Please. That will always be the biggest flaw of this game, in my opinion. Some of them think it's the hunter slash uber morph. Me, it, it, it's the endless tutorials. So you take so much of chapter one and two up. It, but I can look past it because the game's story is brilliant, the atmosphere is amazing. Isaac, are you there? We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, then I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me to Captain's rig codes and we'll find Nicole. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. We have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage and a shock pad from zero-g therapy. Should be down the corridor. <laughs> Communication is useless in all this static. Another thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to stop moving at the instance where we have a mini cutscene like that, unless I'm in the middle of combat. Just because I think that might be a little too much for the game and it might be having a small panic attack trying to render that along with me moving. I don't remember the name of the character from Extraction, but this is his doing. It's annoying. He's blocked us at every turn, including turning the ADS cannons off. But this way into chapter two, intensive care and spitters. We know it does. We were using it in chapter one and we did it right before you told me how to do it. Where would you be without science? Probably not here. Somewhere better? I can't tell you that for sure, but definitely not with lots and lots of corpses. There we go. Stasis that. Head on through. Right here is where the frame rate got the worst on the last recording attempt of chapter two. So, so let's hope it does a little bit better. I also hope my aim has gotten a little bit better, because I've had a bit more practice. Alright, there that one. That time we dodged the spinner. There we go. Reloading in. It's only about five or six enemies in this room total, so not a terrible battle. Uh, there's two ways to tell spitters apart from the normal enemies. One of them is pants. Like that. Yeah. The other way is that they're going to have armor plating on their legs. So if you see an enemy with armor plating, it's good to stasis them, take off their head, then go for the arms. Their arms also look a bit different. I'll show you them when we get there. Ah, uh, it's hard to describe. The best way to tell is... They look like they've got more striations in the arms, if that makes sense to anybody. A lot more lines in the muscle tissue, a lot more muscle tissue showing. 
I'll show you one when we get to it. Not too far off. I know there's one in here that looks like that. Normal slasher. We are going to run. This is one. This is another spin. Ow. Please don't trim my nails. Not close. Definitely want to run. We don't want to let these guys gang up on us like that. Right. In the back of it, they're going to... Okay. okay, that didn't work. I think I went right between his legs and got the guy behind him. Alright. It's done. Fortunately, spitters are a little less sturdy than the rest of the necromorphs. They're not the flimsiest. That goes to the dashers. But they're still pretty frail. And there we go. Not a, actually a bad run of that room. That room can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Especially if you don't know what's coming. You can just easily get funneled and they will tear in you if you let them stack up too much. I convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. And what I saw was glorious. Breathtaking. Miners undergoing a transformation into something extraordinary. I must know more. Even as the believer within me wants to become one of them, the scientist needs to uncover their secrets. I need to study one of these necromorphs, as Kind so clinically puts it. I need to witness this infection firsthand. Perhaps the patient from the colony. That would be Dr. Chalice Mercer. Unlike a lot of the other people on the Ishimura who are dealing with a marker induced psychosis, his is more of a religious zealotry and far more dangerous. As we will see in more detail in chapter. Five. What in God's name is going on down there? Five and ten. I think that's precisely the point, Doctor. God's work. I'm not so sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The marker is glorious and divine. You, you know that. God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness the transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor, Terence, there will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. Well, that's what worries me. <laughs> All right, there we have just another look at Dr. Kine, only this time talking with the captain, who he supposedly is killed. Interesting. Uh, here we've got a log from Dr. Kine as well. Uh, I'm going to just scroll through these, and if you guys want to pause them, go for it. It would just take way too much time in the episodes if I was going to actually read through all these. I don't want this to be a 200-part series. But we're seeing Kine, a fellow unitologist or marker worshiper. It changes a little bit between this game and the second game. We're going to go a lot more into unitology when we play Dead Space 2. But he's having some lapses of faith. Maybe he's thinking maybe the marker isn't so divine after all. It's causing all these problems. He hasn't completely linked it yet. But he's starting to, he's starting to see the connections. And I think it's an audio log from him, actually. We find out that people were experiencing the psychosis related to the marker before they even found it. Ooh. We've got a new enemy coming up. Oh, that's wonderful! Hell of a way to introduce us to, I think that's the Lurker. 
Um, kind of a twisted enemy as well because being a mining vessel, a lot of injuries here tend to involve missing limbs. They clone people. Part of that cloning process is full juvenile, infancy, everything. So these are babies. Necromorph infected clone babies. I'm gonna have it come around from the corner. This one's gonna just jump us, so we're gonna let that happen. Just because we can take it off really quickly, give it a boot. And like most necromorphs though, that can survive a punch to the face, um, the boot will just take them out one shot. So if you're doing pretty good on healing items and you want to conserve a little bit of ammo, it's not the worst idea to just let them jump you. Because their tentacles can be a pain in the butt to hit. Not the worst, but a slight pain. Sometimes they don't want it to be two. Sometimes you have to shoot three. It really depends. Stasis. Ah. Tentacles didn't come out. At least we can back up a bit. Or stomp. Maybe just a bit less than a full pip of health, so... <clears throat> Even on this difficulty, they are not that threatening. Those enemies really get dangerous when you're combining them with other groups of enemies. And they can be a bit of a pain in the butt just to find them in a zero-g environment, because they like to move around a lot. But not that bad. We've got a power node and thermite. Why there is a form of explosive in medical is beyond me, especially thermite. It's a bunch of metal dust that burns at 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I, I don't, why that's not in the mining deck, I have no idea. Because your character in extraction does not bring that here with him. All right, got an enemy coming around the corner from over right. Yeah. Whoop. Got a spitter coming at us. This enemy, I believe, is also a spitter. I'm not gonna, gonna give him a chance, though. Stop it. Not gonna waste ammo aiming for the legs. They are armor plated. Here we go. And as you can see, armor. And it's actually kind of fused with the flesh a little bit. Actually makes them a bit of a problem if this is your first run through and you don't know to expect that. Because at that point, what are you going to do? You're popping shots at their legs, hoping to down them, and then get a good shot on an arm, and suddenly you're hit by a wall of armor that you weren't expecting. Ooh, that one I want to press. All right, uh, sell this. Make some inventory space. Definitely make some inventory space. We have a lot of ammo that we don't need. We will save that for later, though. Definitely save that for later. Got a few more tutorials. I don't think there's any tutorials left after Chapter 2. Hmm. Oh, but, buddy. Come, come on. I know it's difficult, but that's no need to hit your head against the wall. Just think through it. Oh. Oh, no. You know, I can respect that decision, then. I don't want to see... I don't know how. He made it there with injuries like that. Leaper! It's not going to come at us until we actually move that, so... Get some more resources for later, because later parts of this game on the hard difficulties can be a bit of a pain. Plus, we might find some stuff. Some meat goodies. Like a large health kit. Yes, please. Is it safe? Yes, I hope. I think. You found something Surprise if it isn't. Yes, we found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. 
It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? Yeah. Now we can really see his psychosis start to start to kick in, and just how fanatical he actually is. He is not concerned at all with the deaths on the, in the colony. If anything, he's blaming the people who died at, for being basically not unitologists as the reason they're being killed. As if necromorphs and the marker kill indiscriminate kill discriminately, which they don't. Bodies are bodies. All right, we're gonna have someone pop through this vent. Come on. I'm not grabbing that power node yet. Can you make me grab the schematic? No, it's not gonna spawn until I grab the power node. Okay. Go. He's down. And if you're looking at the little tendrils that come out of his arm when I pop the arm off, those are actually veins. Even their veins are alive and want to kill you. They went out of their way to make this game as gruesome as they possibly could, and... It, not only did it work... The game sold as many copies as it did for a reason. They really put a lot of effort into it. There's one arm. Yeah, that's a little trick with these things. If you kill them while they're clinging to a surface that is not the floor, or pop not kill them, pop off a limb, they will just die. So if you can line up a shot on them while they're clinging to a surface, it's going to save you a bit of ammo, at least two shots. Now, as much as I don't want to use a bullet on this, I unfortunately have to. Because that's at a weird angle where I'm not going to be able to hit it with my plasma cutter. Okay. Blood. We'll be going back into that room at some point. It's not now. Now I have to go outside. Space! I know I can't breathe. Can you let me walk, please? I would like to walk forward so I don't die of not breathing. Die of not breathing. That is... Heck of a grammar choice there, Rob. We have plenty of time in this room, and on top of that, I do believe they gave us a air can back there? Normally they do. Normally they always give you an air can right and before you know, a gra uh, gravity, gravity vacuum. Your grab boost will kick in when you enter a zero G area. And here is, we've done zero G, we've done vacuum. I... Can you... Thank you. I think this is the last tutorial. Don't quote me on that. There's a lot. There we go. That'd be a little bit further back. All right, we're going to have some enemies coming up, so... Okay, that's pretty close. We should have to that placement. Now we're getting into the Leaper's favorite territory, and that is zero G. And this. Exiting zero gravity. Great. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Yes. Shit. Get into the morgue. And Captain Matthias. Now we've got a leaper. That hit him, but it didn't do anything. That does happen sometimes when they're... Yeah, while they're going, it doesn't like to protect hit reg all the time. A little bit low. Oh, 
Oh, hi. When they're on land, though, it's a different story. And that's all of them. Alright, we should be able to get, grab that crate from over here. If not, it's fine. I don't really want to walk back to go get it. Yeah, we got it. As you see, the game likes to keep you with just enough ammo to survive. I don't know if that crate is always the same or if it cycles between ammo and medkits. Right. We were going to have a couple friends out here in a vacuum. Usually I can strafe this one, but I'm not going to make the attempt this time. Just get rid of it. Came out plus one ammo from that, so it's not like it's bad. Now in here, we have another one, I think. Yeah. Oh. He's gone. Exiting vacuum. As you can see, even dealing with the enemy, we still had plenty of time. Alright. Just so we don't have to deal with anything while we're moving it. Because there are a few enemies down here. A few that you can very easily just mess with. One was enough that time. Okay. There's going to be at least one Leaper down here. Who sometimes likes to break. That one's done. Last time he was just sitting on the floor and just let me do whatever he wanted. That time he was actually attempting to leap at me. But I wasn't having any of it. The answer is no. No jumps for you. Meet me in the basketball court later on if you want to have some jumps. And actually, on the note of the basketball court, I will be doing the basketball and I will be doing the um, shooting range, but I'm probably going to make those their own video. <clears throat> I'm going to upload them alongside the episodes that are going to be meant for the actual chapter. You do not want to let these things gang up on you in a full swarm. If you do, they, you will die. Come on. A little bit at a time, though. They're not that threatening. If they all jump you, you're as good as dead. Especially on this difficulty, they will just chew through your health before you have a second to react. Even if you're mashing as they're getting ready to jump, their DPS is just too much and they will just tear you apart. And now we're going back over here. <clears throat> Alright, that's good. We're going to go back to the store before moving forward, though. So you got a schematic to drop off. you got another gold semiconductor we can sell. A lot of loot. And the last thing you want to do in Dead Space, at least, especially the first one, is to run out of slots. To move that. Yep. They gave us an air can. Let's sell this because we are not going to need that. They're going to give us another one anyway. However, we are going to want some med kits, but we're not going to jump from those. Not just yet. Instead, I think it's about time we pick up the line gun. The line gun is basically this game's equivalent to a shotgun. I think a small should be perfectly fine. <clears throat> Just want a little bit. This is medical, so they do like to give you a lot. Yes. When it flashes red, no ammo in the clip. But, hopefully we're not going to get to that point. Here we have another video log. 
This one's of Nicole. This is senior medical officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. <clears throat> These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get him to the table. Hold him. Not you. Hold him down. Every quarter. All right. That was Nicole, right? Oh. I can't yeah. tell from here Hammond, that you... made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. So am I. The question is, is she on the floor trying to kill me or hiding in a closet? But at that point, guys, I just realized how long this video was running, and I think we're going to cut it here. Sorry it lasts a little bit longer than the others, but at least we got through the majority, if not all, of the tutorials. Moving forward, we're going to be taking on the rest of of chapter two. I'll see you guys next time, and don't forget to check me out on Twitch. Link in the description. Have a nice day.